five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Boy, would I love to spend the next hour on that debate and get that information out there. I will point out that the uh, petroleum industry has been subsidized for the better part of 120 years and continues to this day to have very, very significant subsidies. However, Mr. Buttigieg, Secretary, thank you so very much. I'm thinking back uh, on the very first days of the uh, Biden administration. Within a few months, uh, the Infrastructure and Jobs Act became law. After four years where the previous president said, we're going to do an infrastructure bill, never happened in the previous administration, but during your tenure it did. And thank you so very much for your very significant leadership in making it happen and also picking up a very, very important part of an American policy, and that is make it in America by American. And I know that you've worked hard on that throughout. It was one of the major parts, uh, pieces of the legislation, and it's going into place. However, all of that seemed to have been held in abeyance by a waiver to a 1983 law that waived the Buy America requirements uh, for uh, transportation. So the good news is you're well into solving that problem. A couple of months ago, actually about a year ago, several of us have brought to your attention this uh, waiver, general waiver of the Buy America requirements of the 1983 law. My understanding is that you have a proposed um, rule out to terminate that waiver. Uh, and I understand that the finalization may be in progress. Could you please bring us up to date on that? Uh, thank you, yes, Congressman. We're, we're very focused on making sure that we square the need for swift and efficient project delivery with our administration's commitment to make sure that when we use American taxpayer dollars, it's buying things that are uh, using materials made in America. We recognize that that's a long game because we're building uh, for gaps in our manufacturing base that won't be filled overnight. Uh, but uh, we know that uh, we have an opportunity here uh, to uh, build those industries through both the demand and the rules that we have. Uh, right now, DOT and the operating administrations are working to provide guidance uh, over the guidance that uh, came out from OMB to help specify uh, any answers to questions that project sponsors might have, um, knowing that uh, there's a lot of complexity to this. To be clear, some waivers may be required, but they will be limited, targeted, and conditional, uh, and only offered when we're confident that it's uh, the, the right thing to do and still does right by our overall goals to build American capacity. Thank you for that. Those of us that have been on the Buy America train road uh, for uh, the better part of our careers are going to watch very closely about the breadth of those waivers and the length of them. Short-term waivers, perhaps necessary, but if they become long-term waivers, uh, then we've accomplished nothing on the Buy America, Make It in America, and rebuilding our industry. I want to thank you and the President for putting in place an industrial policy for the United States. This is one piece of it. There are a couple of other elements out there I want to bring to your attention with regard to Buy America. Um, uh, Chairman DeFazio, when he was here, and Senator Cornyn and I and others uh, brought to the attention of all of us that the uh, Chinese China Railroad Construction Corporation and BYD were finding a way of bringing into the United States Chinese rolling stock from gov Chinese government-controlled companies. That seems to have been abated. I urge you to watch carefully. They're trying to get around that in many different ways. Finally, the application of all of this to airports. The waiver may apply to the airports. Watch carefully. The policy of the president was to make it in America, buy America. You and I and the others will work diligently to see that that happens. Thank you. Thank you. You have my commitment to work with you on that. Thank you. <clears throat> Yield back. The